because in some ways the largest thing we as humans can conceive of is, is lots of humans over a long period of time. To encapsulate that into a contained game is the greatest thing a contained game could possibly do. Unfortunately, Tempest fails at this. And the reason why is because Tempest captures some other alien species that is much more fair than our species is. Play commences through a, a, a series of eras, or kind of larger turns, um, in which people have lots of little impulses where they get to do actions, right? So you take turns doing actions, going clockwise around, and you can have babies, you can have fights, you can move, you can practice religion through card play. You can have ideas, that's important, to get cards, and the cards the cards make it worthwhile to do the other actions and allow you some free actions um, at different times. Um, and then at the end of each era, after everyone's done their actions, uh, you, you do this quick figuring out uh, to see who gets to jump ahead of the others in era, you know, and that could be multiple people. You do some points based on who's in, different, in, in a particular environment, and the environment changes from turn to turn, um, and who has the most cards of that environment, and the most pieces in that environment, and the most cards that say education. Um, other things you're doing in the turn is building cities. Those are important. Probably the big way you're going to score points is through cities. I have to say, when I first saw Tempest, when I first started playing it, I did not, I wasn't very impressed with it. It's very simple to learn and very abstract. Um, but the more I played it, the more I enjoyed it. There's there are interesting decisions to be had, and I think. I think it's important to get past the uh, the alien civilization that it represents in order to appreciate that. To see it as some sort of, um, I don't know, it could be like your microbes or, or it doesn't really ensure you have babies in the game, but in the game you have babies, you move around, you fight, you do these things that sound like uh, things you would do in our world, things civilizations would do, but they're very temporary and they don't seem to um, work in the same way that things happen here. Tempest makes no attempt to simulate this world. There is a, it is a, it's a game that simulates some world that's 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 other than our world, a, a world where there's a certain kind of fairness, where uh, it's almost a, a communist or a socialist world, where if some people get uh, too far ahead, not the government, but some sort of uh, external force brings everyone else up to them. Um, which is not to say that someone can't dominate the game, sort of. If you play better than everyone else, you will win. Uh, just that you're not going to dominate in the same way that humans dominate each other. You're not going to be able to... Um, you, you can't you can't get someone out of the game. You can't you can't beat someone down into submission. You can't you can't tear someone apart. You can't have way more than you need while someone else has nothing. There is no player elimination. You can attack each other, but if they're down to a certain number of spaces, you can't push them any further than they are already pushed. They will always survive. 